Samo. Samo, Samo, Samo. Sam Petrovsky Seaton. 14 matches in 2021. Not dissimilar to the comments I made about Lockie O'Brien. I'm left with an unknown. That I'm a I've got a real soft spot for Samo. I love him. I really, really love Sam Petrovsky Seaton. Um I just don't know what's going on. I don't know where he's at. There's a bit of confusion and it, it's I'm trying to draw parallels and, and and figure out what's going on. And obviously that's the hard part when you're a fan. You, you don't know. You don't really know what's going on. All you can do is see the information that's available publicly and try and join the dots. But I guess I'll start with the review. The review talks about players who have a confusion with the game plan. Now, when I look at Samo, obviously... Once Tigi took over as coach, he decided that they wanted to turn him into an Andrew McLeod type player. And that was a direct quote from, from David Teague. So, did it didn't work. Um, it's not to say that he was a bad player because he never got heavily scored on. But I just feel like he's lost that hunt instinct mentality. Now, is he, is he upset at... The role, you can say that, but at the same time, you've got like a Liam Stocker that comes in who we all know is a midfielder and you hear him speak about just wants to do anything for the team and just earn his respect and, and just get in a position where he can compete. But I just, I don't know, We there were times this year where I was like, where is that, where's the cowboy? You know, where, where is he, that fierce hunting player that we saw in his first couple of seasons and... Have we played with his confidence a little bit? Did we you know, mess him up a little bit by taking him out of the midfield? I think there is an argument to be made for that. But at the same time, is he really fit enough to play in the midfield? Is he really, really fit enough to cover the ground both ways in the midfield? I don't know. What I think when I watch him is, I think rather than putting him in the half back line, I think putting him in the half forward line was the move. But at the same time, you bring in... You bring in Jack Martin, who really is that. He's the half-forward guy that pinch hits in the midfield. And I just wonder, what's the spot for Samo? Where, where is he going to make his name? And and, that, and that's something that I don't profess to know. I'm, I'm, I guess I'm just telling you, I, I don't know more than what I knew at the start of the year. I probably know less about where he's at. Now, rumors online, as I said, with Lockie O'Brien, when players aren't playing to their potential and there's a you know, innuendo about being unhappy. All, there's always going to be speculation about, oh, is he going to leave? Is he going to go to Frio? Is he going to go back home? I hope not. I really hope not. This, for me, like life's, you have ups and downs. There are, there are players that didn't have good years this year. Um, there are players that had good years at this year that maybe weren't so good last year. You can't, like, progression is not linear. It's just not in footy, in life, in anything. So um, for me, I'm just hoping that this is just a, a rough patch for Samo that he's going to break through a little bit and understand a little bit more about himself and who he is as a player and maybe as a person and then find that inspiration and, and go from there. But but one thing I definitely observed from him this year is just didn't see the, the willingness for long enough, the hunt for long enough that I had seen from him in his first few years. And the only common denominator that I can really draw from what I've seen over his five seasons is the move to the back line it's probably taken away from what his natural instincts are. Now, we spoke to Luke Power earlier in the year. He talked a lot about, you know, you, you know, putting players and what we as fans say out of position. Well, it's part of their development. So maybe getting a defensive game for Samuel is important. It'll hold him in good stead for the future. I hope so. Time will tell. But I just want to see the Sam Petrescu seat in that we drafted because I'm just not seeing him at the moment. Um, I don't think... At this stage, he works hard enough for long enough to be a full-time midfielder. In an ideal world, he becomes a great midfielder for us. But I just don't think, as I sit here right now, that he is ready to impact games for four quarters as a midfielder. And, and that's why I think there might be a role in the forward line. It's just tough. Who knows? Are we going to change things up now that Teague's not here? Because he, he was obviously big on having a three-tall forward system. Do we take a tall forward out of there and maybe replace him with a Samo type? Who knows? I'm just thinking out loud right now. But yeah, let me know what you think about Samo and, and his year and, and where how you how you saw it play out and how how we get him back to playing his best footy. I think it's it's so interesting because like part of it is on Samo, part of it is on the coaching group to empower Samo and the environment 
around him to empower him and and get the best out of him and you know how do you strike the balance between that like I don't I just don't know I'm just someone watching from the outside observing on the inside but it just I just don't see that same spark I guess that's the message from from his year from me and, and how I saw it but really keen to get your thoughts let me know in the comments below and we'll go from there.